Now, let's go to uh, our exclusive from Thursday night's show where we revealed that former Home Affairs Secretary Mike Pizzullo has been told that he's going to be stripped of his Order of Australia that was given to him in 2020. Since then, many have thrown their support behind Pizzullo. They've even called for the Prime Minister to intervene and reverse the decision. Shadow Home Affairs Minister James Patterson said stripping his AO is incredibly petty. The PM should intervene to stop it. Then just today, Strategic Analysis Australia Director Peter Jennings said that stripping Pizzullo of a deserved Order of Australia awarded four years ago for a significant career in national security is unacceptably punitive. If it happens, the government will claim it's the result of independent processes. Be assured that nothing in Canberra happens unless the Prime Minister wants it. Well, we asked the Prime Minister's office whether Albanese was going to reverse the decision. A government spokesman has told us this is a standard review automatically triggered by the Australian Public Service Commission findings. It is independent from government and still ongoing. Questions about the process should be directed to the Honours Council. So, Andrew, there you go. As Peter Jennings predicted, the Albanese government is saying, oh, nothing to do with us. This is an independent process. Well, Peter Jennings is rarely wrong, um, and he's, he's certainly right on this occasion. I mean, this is just childish. I mean, I'm, I, absolutely, he, you know, Pizzolo showed a, a little bit of an error of judgment in, in cozying up <coughs> for government in the way he did. Uh, but the punishment doesn't fit the crime. Uh, we're talking about little gossipy mess messages being sent on text. It's, it's hardly warranting uh, the removal of such an award. I mean, what you can't take away from Mike Pizzullo is the incredible amount of accomplishment that he achieved as one of Australia's strongest uh, public servants in, in, a, in an era where he had to knit together a, a, a monster portfolio department. Uh, when, you know, and, and add to that the fact that he was pivotal in, uh, in Operation Sovereign Borders. I mean, the, the dude uh, deserves his award and more, mm. Uh, mm. and yet it's being stripped away or, or potentially being stripped away by petty politics. Yeah. Look, I went through on Thursday night the reasons, um, you know, the findings against him, so I'm not going to go through the detail of those now, but ultimately, Andrew, you are right. They were gossipy messages with a political lobbyist. Uh, Cameron, most people who have their Order of Australia stripped or other honours stripped, pretty much all of them are where there has been a criminal conviction, you know, serious crimes or pedophilia. The, I mean, it's the complete opposite with Pizzolo. Uh, uh, absolutely. Absolutely. And look how good the borders are under O'Neill and Giles right now without Pizzullo's influence. I mean, you know, I mean, Pizzullo <laughs> stopped the boats and kept us safe. I mean, and he deserves the AO for that alone. Um, but he was a, was a servant of the Labor Party many years ago, a fine public servant. Uh, he does not need to have this retrospectively done to him. And to your point, it's not a fraud or criminal act that he's undertaken. It was an error of judgment uh, that, that hurt no one in the end. Uh, and so, yes, it would be incredibly petty politics to remove this AO from him given how well he did in the service of this country.